Hey, hello, welcome to Dead Estate, where this is a very retro-inspired game, and I mean, like, truly retro. Uh, we got My Name Jeff, or we got My Name Jules. Um, uh, let's start with Jeff. Well, Trucker, there was a cutscene before this. Very high base health, low agility starts with a basic handgun. Time to go. Let's play. Time to go. Fear can't kill you, but other things can. Uh, like I said, this is a very retro twin stick sort of shooter. And um, yeah, it looks interesting, so we're going to check it out and see what it's like and try and complete it and beat it. I think I can. <laughs> Obviously, it's got a lot more modern features, so it's like, um, you know, old school, but with... Um, what do you call it? Right trigger to aim, then fire with your right trigger. I don't think that text was the correct way around, unless I misread it. But it's got roguelike features, whilst this isometric sort of thing, and then there's a map in the bottom corner that does not open the map. That moves the map, but it doesn't open it! <laughs> I wonder why you'd ever need to move the map like that, that's interesting. So, we're shooting some stuff. We really want to get a move on though, there's a demonic painting there. Um, for reasons that, yes, we will go and see. That's like, is that an enemy? That is an enemy! <laughs> it's just a blood clot in the middle of the floor. Okay, the doors lock off. Kill six enemies with less than a six second gap between each kill. Really? <laughs> There were six enemies there. <laughs> they died quickly. Okay, we've got a golden key. I'm sure that'll be handy. We've got some blood clotty sort of things. But yeah, it seems an interesting cool sort of design. It's very, very pew pew loud. So I'm going to turn it down a little bit. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too loud for you. And it's like, you know, turn the music down. Because it's just in case the copyright issues, like every sort of game has, you know. On YouTube, there's always content ID on things, even when they're not supposed to be half the time, so, you know, I just... Well, let's say some sorry in most instances. Are they little grattos? <laughs> they're not gonna live. Um, right, we're gonna quickly grab whatever that was. Oh, it's a heart hiding, okay. Right, we want to keep getting a move on before this demon thing chases us. Um, but we're gonna kill the enemies in the room again, you know, fighting fighting. So I'll twin stick you so we can do this. Gold key to get in here, to get... Huh? <laughs> it's no treasure room! Um, okay, hi. Um, Ultra Clots! <laughs> the Coagulated Fury. I wasn't expecting a boss in the key room door. Maybe it's just a <laughs> key to get into the boss. Maybe you need to find the key to be able to get into the boss on every floor. I wasn't prepared for that. I thought treasure! <laughs> you know? Find the Kvaz You find the key, it opens up the golden treasure room. It doesn't have that the door was at a site that we couldn't really see what was going on with it. <laughs> but hey, you know, we're in. Also, like the, the floor being really, really trippy is kind of concerning, but I guess that's the sort of thing they're going for. Because again, they're going for like the boomer. Boomer game sort of style and boomer horror sort of style. So, you know, it's like the, the very old camp horror movies. So, yeah, we're, we'll see how we do. We beat the floor. <laughs> Good job. But we're going to go... I don't know if I needed that health. Am I wasting that health by picking it up? I think I might be wasting the health. But, yeah, we're going to keep exploring. Maybe we can find some good stuff. I'm not going to shoot every single pot on the floor, you know, it's like... That one with the flare in might have had some up, but <laughs> yeah, it's just a waste of time in most instances. It's like you might find some good stuff, but is it really worth it? Also, we barrio. A shop! Aha, buy something, will you? Hello, stranger. I have $351. Guarantees that a web merchant will appear on every floor. Um, Chance to fire shots to burn enemies. One enemy is marked with death at the start of every room. That sounds really, really good. I don't care about the map. Fully heals you upon buying. I don't care about that. One enemy is literally marked for death. I mean, a gun merchant wouldn't be bad, but this, like, literally just kill one Bye. enemy outright. Bye bye. In every room? That's just so good. And also, here's our treasure. Can't you take ammo after taking damage? Who leaves all this stuff lying around? Oh, I didn't mean to come in here. <laughs> That's just so good. Wow. Okay. And then we've got um, press right shoulder to slip between weapons and right sh hold right shoulder to destroy them. Oh dear. There's fear grumbling. <laughs> I think 
it might be time to move along. <laughs> I think it might be time to move along. Now that there's a good old mulling coming. We don't need to explore the entirety of the floor. He looks very mad. Be sure to brush twice a day, minimum. <laughs> Who brushes their teeth more than twice a day? Like, that seems overkill. <laughs> and, you know, if you brush it after every meal, sure, you'll have nice clean teeth, but it, it seems... You know, maybe you might be doing more damage than good, brushing away your enamel and everything, and... Yeah. Okay, so that is... Like, our primary, then we've got the new weapon. I'm gonna save the new weapon until, like, we get, like, strong enemies. I like that that thing is literally marked for death, the butterfly. It's like... It didn't die as easy as I thought it was, considering it was marked for death. <laughs> but it died! What's this? Did... Did we miss something like this on the third floor? Um... So that just takes you back to the first room. <laughs> Interesting. I'm sure that's useful for some reason. I'm sure. Why is the Mark for Death guy not die? Like, I'm assuming that's Mark for Death. The other guy seems to die easier than the Mark for Death guy. Well, did I misread what Mark for Death was? Okay, so that's the boss I see on the map now. <laughs> There's a big skeleton there. Like, is there a bonus for killing the Mark for Death guy first or something? I, I really thought Mark for Death meant he died in one hit. Maybe he just dies of his own accord at some point. I don't know. <laughs> Did I waste my money on that? Probably. Probably. That's a big scary thing. <laughs> At least it's Mark for death! <laughs> Whatever that means, it <laughs> dies! <laughs> Maybe it dies at the same time as you kill the first thing and like, I'm just being stupid by killing and focusing the Mark for death thing, right? It dies when something else on the room dies, probably. Ouch. Okay, that was our first damage. These butterflies are actually kind of pain. Okay. They're kind of demon cursed butterfly moth things. I don't know what they are. But <laughs> they certainly didn't want to die. Um, there's a shield in here. Let's go explore that. That might be interesting. Um I don't get it. <laughs> okay. 40 seconds, I guess it's a chat room. Ouch! Ouch! That hurt a lot. Oh, for f fuck's sake. <laughs> That's an enemy. <laughs> okay, this is where we probably die in this room somehow, because we fucked it up. This gun's actually not terrible. These are just giganto versions of, like, the creepy things. <laughs> Here's where we die! Because we... We're stupid. Come on, we can do it. No! Wow. Okay, that gun was not very good. And very, very slow. Um... <laughs> fuck. <laughs> there goes all the help on this stupid pointless challenge room. That was very handy, wasn't it? Not! <laughs> now he starts destroying all the pots now that he wants hearts. We might find them. Right. It's unlikely. Oh, do you know what the worst thing is? We need to go all the way back to the boss. Like, <laughs> I think we're going to get chased by the demon soon. Um, this is a gunsmith. Buying one of my killing machines! Okay, the Jacko Lantern. Um, throw a very fire explosion. Quickly fires explosive dangerous to us. <laughs> a boomer rang. What did he say? He said, why are you calling me on the telephone? Yeah, but you're a boomer, you like telephones. Who leaves stuff like this around? Well, you get to see this thing that's going to be chasing this. Like, why did I come into this? This is probably not smart. Ouch. Okay, he leaves stains on the floor. And we die. <laughs> 
I don't know what actually killed me, but we died. Oh, god damn, there's some shadow creatures that I didn't see. I saw them at the end there. <laughs> there's, there's shadow creatures in there that eat petals. So we might not have died on the thing on the floor. Battle luck next time. Ten minutes. But we got to floor two. Okay, let's go. I don't know if retry would have just retried with the same character, but let's try the other character. Who apparently starts with a shotgun. I didn't see any of the other bits of what it said about her, but the shotgun's a shotgun. It's got to be a better character, right? It's a better gun. Infinite shotgun, right? <laughs> um, four or four health, though. But, you know, better damage. <laughs> Maybe slow firing, but, you know, far better damage. Okay. Do these bloodstains actually injure us? I don't know. Like, look at the spell on that. Like, infinite shotgun shell surely is just better. Um, surely we won't die on this challenge room. Surely. Okay, we've got literal aliens with, like, head things. Head pustules. This one's just, like, a creepy guy running at us. Big head. 23 seconds. I guess three waves to kill it. And then some belly boomers that are also infested with other creatures and demon cat thing, as well as rats. <laughs> Ouch! Ouch. Goddamn demon cat that is impossible to hit. Okay. Um, I don't even know what that item said it did, but it's an item. <laughs> sure is an item. Ouch. Okay, we... Okay, that's just bullshit. <laughs> Whatever that thing was that came out of you and instantly hit me. Like, I wasn't expecting it. Hello? <laughs> Grab the hearts, not the, sit on the spikes. I had to get worryingly close to the spikes there to get that right. So don't sit right next to those guys, then shoot them, because things come out of their stomach. Right, it's... <laughs> Then we've got Little Wormo. I can't believe I walked on the Little Wormo on that other room as well. <laughs> like, just walking into that Little Wormo. Uh, drop a dummy. Okay, kind of handy. One key. A oh, one key key. You didn't get to see the thing that's going to chase us down, ironically. Didn't get to see the thing that's going to chase us down. Maybe here you will. Because we're probably going to, like, dilly-dally too much on the floor, right? Um, do I need to check up? Right, so. Health. Does that just mean one health, or does that, like, give us more max health? Agility, strength, measure how much damage you deal. I mean, more damage seems good. I think that is a plus maximum health. Flat broke! <laughs> nice. Um, it is! It was a max HP! Thank you! That's actually really handy, considering we start with way less health. <laughs> like, literally half the health. Any max HP upgrades is gonna be pretty good. Okay, lots of Wormos. I sense the demon coming. Demon is by touch the demon. Oh my god, look how many rooms are. I think these might be the ends of the floor, though, because they all look like special rooms, so we might be free. <laughs> okay, short range rapid pistol. Again, you know, our other things also short range. Yeah, Hello, you are a shop. Ranger. Uh, Chris is not back against enemies. Uh, bosses drop a free. Oh, that would have been so good. That would have been so good. Um, generate a special elevator. Hmm, guarantees that a special elevator will appear on it. What is a special elevator? Interesting. That sounds really nice. I think this is... Free travel to the first floor. Is that a special elevator? Because that's actually not good. That's just, hey, you return to the third floor. But it was kind of good in the aspect that it um, brings us to the boss quicker. Without <laughs> the demon coming. But uh, for the most part, it's not really that good. Okay. What do we got? The blood cloth again? Or... Okay. Use... 
best weapon on the boss, obviously. <laughs> when he's in the air, obviously he's not. I heard the team scrawl, but you know, already in the boss, so. <laughs> At least I heard it, though! I'm not sure if I heard it, it could have been like our. Oh, that's the dummy! That's actually the cool. But it does stop the boss being able to move. <laughs> you know, keep bouncing up and down on top of the. Blue. What the heck? You turn into a man inside? That's a new one! Pick up the health. <laughs> he became a blood clot as well. Yeah, that's um... Kind of annoying when it's bouncing in the air and can't be hissed when it's doing that. But a special elevator, I would assume, maybe takes you to a special floor. Maybe it even helps you skip the boss. Shit. <laughs> don't turn off your controller in the middle of a run. You don't know if the first room is going to have enemies. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, waiting for the clock. Okay, cool story. Um, upper story. Let's just use our shotgun for the moment. Okay, this guy's pretty slow moving. We can. Well, he died. <laughs> we can handle him. No problem. We did. I'm doing it. I don't care. We take the challenge. No. Ouch. Fuck! <laughs> okay, we've got a floating dummy. That actually might help us. He went kind of for the floating dummy, but teeth didn't. They fired straight at us. Yeah, I don't know what the scariest enemies in the info. Shadow Ghosts, at least we can see them at the moment. Oh, we are holding them back. It's actually really good. Easy. This might help me. It would help if I knew what it was. I didn't even read. Ooh, it's a big floating... I don't know. Haggis? <laughs> it shoots at enemies as well. This is... That is scary. <laughs> that ball on a chain. I don't know what it was doing. <laughs> But it was very concerning that it could have hit us. Okay, hopefully we don't have to go back through ball and chain that. Because that's, like, really, really... What are you even aiming at? That guy's just casually sitting on the table. <laughs> Both of them! Dead on the table. Perfect. This time, we need to keep an eye out for the shadow creatures. Like, the shadow creatures of what got us left up. Okay, jump in to shoot them is actually... Uh, <laughs> it's actually something we might need to do a lot. Um, swing with heavy punches. That's a back... We have got a back to the first room thing, but... But we're about to die. <laughs> but we're about to die. Jesus. You failed! Try again. We'll see. Do we start again as her or do we, did we just start again as her, huh? It'd be nice to go back to the menu and like choose your character, but... You know, I can see why, you know, if you've chosen your character and you want to like do quick runs, like, you know, it makes sense. You guys just walk on the spikes and, like, Ouch. help into yourselves. Oh, yeah, you also pop into things. <laughs> You're also Mary pop into enemies. I'll take a key. And then, sure, why not? Like, <laughs> fast travel me back. I don't know if that helps us be quick. I wonder if that also resets the demon that's chasing you. Like, maybe that's the purpose. <laughs> Isometric is not easy to jump across, okay? <laughs> There's a reason games moved on from this. <laughs> Isometric perspective is challenging. But, you know, we'll have a try. Um, weapon gets. Let's go. Um, short range rapid fire. Okay, we've got the same weapon as we got last time. What have you got for me? Hello, stranger. Peanut butter bunny. Max health. Okay, that's actually cheaper than the the doctor's max health. So I'll I'll get some money for that. 
Sugar lowers your HP by half, but you move really fast. Um, I don't think we want to reduce luck. our health to two. Although, you know, we've already lost a HP. We can't already move fast. <laughs> Jumping might actually be a really, really good strategy. Like, you know, just jump over enemies and jump over pots and things. It might actually be very, very good for... Pay attention to the bunnies that are dropping on. Very, very good for avoiding things. Right, 40 seconds, we're using our ultra-fast machine gun. The enemy's taking their time to spawn in, actually. Like, eeps the clock. <laughs> like, that eeps so much of the clock to just wait for the enemies to spawn in. Like, half of the challenge is eaten by enemies spawning in, honestly. And then the RNG over what you get is, like, you know, enemies to drop more enemies! Taking more time to kill. This is like half of the challenge is like all of the time is eaten in that. Grant your shields every two minutes. Let's go. And then whatever that was as well, I will take extra. Right, before I focus, ooh, max HP up. Do I need to check up? Well, I'm not going to buy your health. I'm going to buy the bunny. But I'll take some strength. <laughs> Bunny. We can afford the bunny still, right? I haven't screwed myself. Die, please, thank you. Lots of health. Lots of health. Um, where's our money? I've blocked my, my camera. That's just take it. Um weapons release something. <laughs> we don't really have time to read. <laughs> K.O. Instant death. Let's go. Okay. Lots of spikies in the floor. Let's do this. The demon belly is growling for the peanut butter bunny. I will take it. Thank you. Tasty. Um, you know, more ammo after taking damage. I guess if we're using the ammo, it might be good, but if not. Okay, you just laugh. Ouch! Shit. Demon? Demon be coming. Start running if you want to live! Well, we've already were. <laughs> you didn't come, but you, you kind of got a hint of something's coming. Something was coming for us. Ah, nice landing. Something started coming for us, but you'll, you'll maybe find out. Maybe I'll just be too quick and you'll never see it and we'll complete the game. <laughs> Go for him. Me. I was trying to get that health and just like injured myself getting health. That was badly dumb. <laughs> That's actually kind of dumb trying to get the health when we didn't need it that moment, but you know, we still wanted it. We're actually at 6 HP now, maximum, and you know, just a 4, the normal, but you know, we're in a good situation. Pots sometimes contain valuable golden leeches. Well, I'm not going to waste my time smashing pots. You can see that you barely get enough time to complete the floor as it is for you. Based on demon. Don't tempt me. If a pot breaks in the process, sure, I will, you know, grab something if it's something nice. But I'm not going to go out my way to smash pots. Like that. <laughs> I will not go out of my way. If you have like mind clocks or something, I will not go out of my way to smash pots. Mouth broke all over the floor. Bobby Belcher. Um, yeah, well. <laughs> well, this is not a good situation. With two of those guys, I think, you know, some health might be good. I'd be worth using our gun, like, you know, if we're gonna die. Oh, it's not even long enough range anyway. I that was very close and personal. <laughs> uh, extra loot appears on the balcony floor, thank you. I don't know what the balcony floor is, but... It sounds good. Throw rapid fire jabs, fire small explosive missiles, burn. 
I mean, a mini bazooka sounds pretty good. Also, it's kind of sus that every NPC is just her, right? You know, <laughs> just the same mystical lady. We almost ran straight into that. Just in slightly different pattern. You don't catch me out twice, Mr. Invisible Ghost. That's a return to the floor. That's actually really useful. Let's use that in a bit. We don't need it right away, but it will be useful when we come to it. Pops with health. Any invisible enemies? Nope. Don't hide behind Potter. Actually, you know, if I, if I jump and hit you, we might be able to hit you. Um, that's a shop. This is a charm group. <laughs> what? If Welcome. I knew someone was coming in. I you should know. Movement speed, chance for shots to seek out enemies, that's pretty good. Chance for a snowstorm to blow through room upon entry, freezing all the enemies. We kind of need it. Otherwise we're dead. <laughs> we we kinda need that. Back off, back off. Back off. <laughs> okay, I think we're gonna jump so that we can shoot that thing quicker. Well, it's extreme paddle action, huh? Ping pong. Ouch! Ouch. Yeah, I don't think that's like it. That's the Boss, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. That means we're gonna have to come all this way back. Though so we're definitely gonna get chased by demons. I have replaced our other weapon. I didn't realize it like replaced it. I thought we could have like multiple weapons. This probably isn't gonna catch the demon. I don't think the ping pong ball is the weapon. <laughs> Unless there's like a million enemies. I don't think it's the weapon. That's a lot of mouths. Huh? A lot of mouths to feed. So. Okay, but we got the ring. The Sonic ring. Um, but... There was a demon growling, right? <laughs> um, did you hear those footsteps? Did you hear those footsteps? I think we might be about to get chased around, which, you know, it's not good when... <laughs> we need this key and we still need to, like, do this floor. So, it might be time to, like... On. Okay, we may be good to go. Right, time to just run for the end. I mean, we're kind of running for our lives anyway, but. <laughs> Doesn't hurt to extra run. Maybe we gave him the slip by teleporting. Maybe it did reset his counter. Footsteps. Footsteps. That's them. There he is! <laughs> There's the charming little fellow that's chasing us in his death. <laughs> okay, I don't think the paddle's the weapon, but it's our weapon. <laughs> We're taking it and maybe Leviathan Egg. Um, <laughs> is that going to spawn some big scary thief? Did he just smack his friend in the face? Okay, I thought we could bounce it off the walls and resin cheese it there, but I don't think it is. Um, is there like a boss health meter that I should be aware of? I mean... <laughs> it's just not doing the business, is it? <laughs> Let's face it, this paddle's not doing the business. It is not. And that's a lot of boys! They are... I think they do have friendly fire. I think they are injuring each other. There goes the egg. GG! 
didn't drop anything for us. <laughs> I guess we didn't have that power, right? But we beat the second floor. Also, what is that shield above our heads? <laughs> Take a break every hour. No, <laughs> who takes a break from gaming every hour? Who, who? <laughs> no one, no one, Matsu. Like, you know, most, there are games that last longer than that and they're designed to be played in one go. <laughs> so, yeah, the, we'll take a break every hour. That's a glitchy Ouch. death monster that he shoots at us when he's down that some swamp nonsense. What? I wonder if we can ride the swamp nonsense. Um, is Death Boy <laughs> taking any damage? Or does Death Boy just teleport around? Okay, now he's taking damage again. Death Boy seems a problem. Treasure. Uh, boosts your damage but makes some enemies tougher. Well, I mean... <laughs> we might die anyway, but it's good to have extra damage. Salt Shaker. I mean, we're not coming back. Fuck it, we're, we're just doing the challenge. Probably stupid, but it's Ouch. these Ouch. swamp things. Oh, of course. Oh, are we just gonna Ouch. teenage mutant ninja armless guys? Teenage mutant ninja Robocops. <laughs> yeah, we're probably about to die. Why do Teenage Mutant Ninja Robocops not take damage? Okay, well they just exploded. Um, that's a cursed monster. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Time's up, we're not getting... That's just a cursed president facing you. <laughs> Hi? There's a mama's foot or daddy long legs. Damn it. <laughs> the daddy long legs coming from the ceiling. This is not an easy game. <laughs> Sorry, but. Let's change back to the other character. What did, what did the extras? Medals, records, movies, music player, back to main menu. There's supposedly a third character. There's supposedly meant to be up to nine <laughs> but maybe you have to unlock them who knows out of the frying pan like she's very short range and low health like it's not really ideal this guy's probably using red we're playing on normal like imagine playing it on hard <laughs> i could probably do it Ouch. can't be walk straight into it. But a lot of these enemies we need like long distance things and like that butter month. I don't know, <laughs> it was a bit awkward and it's like I don't know if we were damaging the crystal ball either or if it was just like a part of the map that doesn't things. Increase your accuracy. Chance to burn enemies, prevent chunks from showing up on each floor for an additional minute. That's the guy that chased us. Okay, so that's not bad, an extra minute of time fun there. to explore, especially with the later floors, but 500 gold, like, let's be find one of these golden waggly things or whatever. <laughs> Leeches, was it? Highly bounceable spheres in one of those pots. There might be, there might be a golden leech in one of those pots. I'm not a pot destroyer, but, you know, there's some waggly worms. They're not golden! <laughs> well, there's some sort of leech. Yeah, of course there isn't. <laughs> Just casually, carefully walk across the extra HP and not die trying to grab it. But yeah, we... And I knew it was a waste of time to smash pops, but <laughs> we had to try, you know. It was asking for us to have, like, also, I don't know if I'm ever, like, not picking up the gold and I'm being stupid. I might be.
Well, we take challenges here. We got some highly throwable grenades as Castellity Theory. <laughs> or whatever this guy is meant to be. Okay. And they're actually kind of effective. They're kind of... They're not as explosive as you would think, considering what they kind of seem to be. But they're taking them down. Plots? Really? <laughs> the clock boss? Wait, does that mean that that big scary lady penis thing was probably the boss for the third floor? Could help. Read things very much. Is there like... Okay, so pressing select brings up like the whole map. Like, is there a way that I can inspect my items with a button? Because it doesn't seem to be... What the hell are they? Also, like... <laughs> you know, hey, truly old school style. It's now black and white! You wanted old fashioned to have the most oldest fashioned boomeries. You're now playing on a black and white TV. Did that give me a benefit for this, or is it just going to be... Well, it's kind of sepia oh. zone. It's even worse. <laughs> No, was there, was there a purpose to this, or is it just art style, you know, like the uh, whole um, sepia tone thing that you can do on Instagram and stuff for your pictures? It's like, you want to make it sepia, right? Not really. <laughs> Taking damage from an enemy marks them from death. But again, I don't know what the mark for death really actually does. I mean, obviously, more damage. And sure, give me more max HP. You be safe too. We could maybe like keep upgrading our max damage. Right. <laughs> Straight into the boss. Fifteen. I don't think we got enough for the boss. Is it always gonna be the clock? Um, Queen Infestor. It's yeah. There goes like all of our stuff. Are you just gonna spawn infinite numbers of pets? I'm going to focus you down. Also, is there like a health gauge for you somewhere that I'm not seeing? Oh. Okay, maybe I shouldn't focus you. <laughs> maybe I should take care of the ads so they don't injure us entirely. $119. <laughs> but we're learning. This is the first time to play this. Oh, good old. We're learning these things. Press the left trigger to jump. You can't jump in the lift. <laughs> That's why it's our secret, because it's telling us that. Maybe we can jump off the lift from, you know, secret floor. No secrets. At least not that. There might be secret walls and things. You never know. You watch will beat the game in black and white. What? Oh, there's a goddamn worm mess. <laughs> Was that in a pot? Did I break a pot and worm myself? But, despite all this damage, we're at 4 HP, which is like the other lady's max HP, so, you know. <laughs> she would have been dead, of course, now, but hey. <laughs> That's kind of beside the point, right? That's the boss room. That's a big clotter. So jumping seems important. <laughs> That thing is just, like, bleeding out, isn't it? That thing just non-stop bleeding. Take this key. For a 3 HP. You know, I might take an Ambrosia. It wouldn't be the worst plan in the world to get some more HP. <laughs> we might get very lucky and find something good, but... You never know. I, I can't resist. I'm greedy. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> we do the challenge or we die trying. Like, I can't believe that that thing turned into like some sort of chasey demon as well. And just like, yeah, I'm straight out of that room with death if we stay. The amount of times we've died to try to do these challenges for greed as well is ridiculous. 
Um, is this like just like the second wave? We're not doing anywhere near enough damage to these things to, to do this. Lose one dollar every second whilst in combat. Okay, so we just want to be even quicker in combat now. Because, like, <laughs> we're going to lose all of our money. So we need to be extra quick. Oh. Ah. 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 <laughs> but I think we do more damage, which is actually good. But we are, like, super dead. Um, there wasn't a health thing at the beginning of this. What is that? A gun! Oh, it's the trash paddle. <laughs> it's the trash paddle ball. Like, I really don't think the paddle ball is, like, helping at all. Gun dealer, that's a heart. Um, yeah, good things. Big grenade launcher. Slow fires explosive projectiles that detonate with a wide radius that probably sounds like it hurts us. And your close range <laughs> low fire rates. I don't think we want that. Does this replace your main weapon? The, the shop uses your time. Oh, no. Like what you see? Really nice. I have to. See you later. Hey, secret room? <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, do you know what? We just immediately replaced it with something. Um, yeah, it does. I have to go this way, looking for health, looking for a healer. I need a healer. I'm looking for a healer before the demon comes. There's gotta be a healer. I know that's a shop. And you might have something tasty. Ooh! Oh, that's a different bunny. Uh, boost your damage, but make some enemies suffer. Destroying a weapon will create a new and different weapon that can't be destroyed. I need that. Otherwise, we're dead. <laughs> otherwise, otherwise, we're dead. Thirteen dollars. Yeah, I don't need to. Thanks. Um, we're gonna go. We're greedy. And then we're gonna teleport back around. Maybe we'll chase it. Tracks toy coins towards you. I'll take it. And maybe he will be chasing us from this direction instead. Okay, now we're just going to run to the door. <laughs> okay, well there's the boss door. So we can get there. I don't know what this pogo does, but... She'll sure find out! <laughs> the poison dart might be good. He might have actually saved us in that one room, to be fair. Um, well... I mean, Gumba stomp enemies with it or something? <laughs> it suddenly takes you. I guess you can use it as a, like a getaway sort of thing. And, like... Oh, ooh, you do Gumba stomp enemies. Okay, let's go. And you just gotta like stay on his head. Okay, it uses. I think that injured us. <laughs> the the boss kind of caught onto our cheese. That's actually kind of useful. Secret weapon. <laughs> it's a secret weapon, and I kind of like it. Upper story, cool story, Bob. Play Ugby Mumba Three, not Mamba Number Five, but Ugby Mumba Three. <laughs> Except there are Ugby Mumbas. 
I don't know what they say that the, the ladies are ugly, ugly, mamba number five, but ugly ladies. I don't know. I don't get it. Am I meant to kill these skulls? What, what? Okay. I mean, if they line up nicely, that's actually pretty handy. Um, big penis demon lady. <laughs> Easy cheesy. Just clowning around on her head. Okay, 57, that's elf. Get in there. $71, I don't have the money. I kind of would buy an extra strength up, you know? Actually, that's actually not the worst. Oh, you... Well, that works. Okay, you can't bounce on squishy block, apparently, but... <laughs> you know, I thought I was being clever and cheesing it by... Bouncing on the meat man, but no, that is not the case. $114. Are we still losing money per minute, or was that like a different one? Uh, kill the heart. I wonder if, like, the heart is what is your health. Um, yeah, the heart is what kills the turn. Okay. Right. We're learning! <laughs> special enemies with special consistency. What if I knew someone was coming in? Increases your damage for literally nothing for hundreds. Okay, let's take it. Um, weapon spawn with more ammo, grants you an extra jump. Extra, extra damage. With less money than it would have cost, and that was the thing that we wanted any. So that ball is just a state package. Okay, so we've learned. Actual, actual bunnies. Um, <laughs> with literal bunny holes. Hi, get off me. Well, he's marked for death, whatever that means. Does, did they just die in time? More bunnies? Okay, well, I mean, I've got a bouncy thing too. I can bounce about like a bunny too, you know. Oh, you came out of different. That's <laughs> kind of smart. But also kind of dirty. That's the boss room. <laughs> but also kind of dirty. $68. You know, I, I've lost track of what we've got between runs, <laughs> honestly. But we've got a bouncy thing, and it is actually saving our life, to be fair. How to save a life. How to bounce on this ugly penis thing. <laughs> so she says. 28, okay. We kind of wasted... Was there money bouncing around her? We kind of wasted an extra bounce by accidentally triggering it rather than thinking. This Mr. President, man. Not the worst enemy in the world. Like, we can deal with him and his nonsense. We are losing a dollar per second still. Right, so it is still the same run as that. <laughs> I mean, don't really want to, like, hang about and waste all of our money and time in these rooms. Which means there's challenge rooms. Actually, you lose a lot of money by taking the challenge. So are they actually even worth it? Um... I accidentally <laughs> tried to back out the room because I was like, hang on, I actually want to go into the other room. And, you know, that was what got me killed there. But, yeah, I should grab this treasure first. Demon is on his way. Grants you a low damage radioactive order. Aura. Let's go. Free damage around us. That demon is, like, right next to him. Coming. Whoa! That actually... <laughs> right, that didn't intend it. Um, yeah, we don't want to hang about there. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, we can't afford to hang about. Demon man, come in. Come, come fuck. Come, butter. That's it, you stomp up. Demon man coming and like demon man will kill us. Stop bouncing and die. I need this key. <laughs> I need this. Thankfully there's a teleporter there that teleports us back to the other end of the map. Um melee weapon swings no, this is like in God. <laughs> this is like the god weapon. It'd be nice to have some ammo, but yeah, we can't get rid of this. It has literally kept us alive. <laughs> I 
Boss was all the ends of this, I guess. Okay, um, $311. Okay. Six or ten. I'm not gonna buy more Ambrosia. Grants oh. you an extra jump. Weapon spawn more ammo. No. Goodbye. Is the doctor over here as well? No. Wait, the doctor's that hard. Is... Worth it? Maybe? Yeah. <laughs> okay, extra strength! Yes. Worth the money. Demon coming. Bye. Hi. Bye. Not scary. <laughs> You're not scaring anybody. He also jumps with us. Bye. Okay. So we've only got 19 uses, but you know, we'll see what this does. Might bounce on it, we might not. Uh, the fool! He's a bouncy fellow himself. And he also tries to bounce on us just the same. Because <laughs> we kind of want to do him. But I'm not going to do it because I think this guy might be. Like, he's marked for death. Oh, ooh, that also marks bosses for death. Again, whatever marked for death that even means. <laughs> whatever that even means. Yeah, I think he might be, especially when he bounces off the screen, you know, just like break our ability to bounce on him and it just break the keys now. Now that he's crying. He runs away though, he doesn't come for us, so again, you know, it's like, it'd be difficult to track him and we'd just end up killing ourselves in the crying, probably, rather than bouncing on him, so it's not worth it. I don't know what the hell he thinks he's doing, he's like, a screensaver on acid, right? <laughs> like some old school screensaver on acid. Clear the attic sanctum. Okay, let's go. Cleared. I don't know how many floors there are, but <laughs> we're getting up there. We are getting up there. Some very old BP tunes. <laughs> Maybe this is like the boss hall. <laughs> this sort of tune. The laboratory. Um. Let's not walk on that. <laughs> okay, there was nothing, but it seems concerning. Are they going to explode into the They did explode. I wonder if I've got a chance to destroy them before they turn into demons. Like, you know, it's like, if you smash this before it happens, the thing inside will die, and it won't escape. Maybe? Again, we have to, like, learn all this stuff. Um... Comes in different colours. Just, it's just too good. <laughs> like maybe we'll get some ammo. It's just been too good to us to pass up, honestly. Money? Money? <laughs> I'll just hear lots and lots of money. That's a chant room, but we'll lose all of our money and it's not worth it. That's a scary thing. That's just a stage hazard. Okay, that's just like a shadow version of the thing that's chasing us, but not immune to everything. It's just like a baby version of it, but more chads. That's false. Oh, there's a... Vomiting tonsil! Come on, Tonsil. Get you out on the map! Right, thank you. <laughs> that vomit and Tonsil cost us time and money. <laughs> Both resources we have in the slim commodity. Okay, so... Time to walk back to the other side, because... <laughs> went the wrong way first. As always. As always. What are these? Barfing hamburgers. <laughs> Again, you know, we'll just do it in, like, seeking so much. Fine. We don't need to actually be able to see everything cool and in full colour. 
I wonder if you can kill them. Like, they seem to, like, do some sort of visual effects. Hello. Stranger. 283. Increases your movement speeds, melee weapons. This type of weapons do even more damage. Half the time. <laughs> um, reveals the entire map of every floor, but all floors become permanently larger. That doesn't sound so good. Goodbye. Like, the Ambrosia wouldn't be the worst. You are just eating all my... I'm these, I hate this on tools. They're actually kind of annoying to deal with. Belky Thompson lighters! Okay, they dropped some health in. That's actually nice of them. Oh, not another Belky Thompson. Right, whilst the Belty Tonsil is on the screen, we focus the Belty Tonsil and then, you know, we shoot the other guy when, <laughs> when he's off screen. But the Belty Tonsil's done. He... I wonder if this just wraps around to the gun and you can get it in both sides. I mean, if we don't need to fight it. Don't need to fight it. <laughs> I'm stupid. Somehow I think we have less money than when we went into the doctor. Because <laughs> we're taking so long to kill things. That's a demon. These spiders are kind of annoying. That's a demon case. 300. Okay. Um, killing enemies instantly resets your weapon's reload time. You coming. Get out my way, Chad Demon! Like... <laughs> no! Fuck you! He's marked for death! <laughs> no! Right, this is the way that I'm going. I could have teleported, but... to race it. If we'd have got in there, we could have got the Ambrosia. I couldn't stand around because he would have killed us. Teleporting back to the start, you know, we could have gone into the boss, but we would have never, we would have had to do like two loops or something and it would have been really annoying. <laughs> would have been really annoying. So I had to try and race it for the health and the Ambrosia. And if we'd have got that Ambrosia, 